common problem that people come to me with uh, with their chainsaws when I'm uh, demonstrating at Wilwood Fair is a slack recoil starter cord like this and uh, it's very very easy to fix particularly on the uh, the model of saw that we've got here which is the steel all it needs is for the recoil starter spring just to be wound up slightly and the tension put back on I'm just going to take the uh, side casing bolts out there are normally four of these in the interest of uh, brevity I've just got two in You lift the side casing off, that's on one side, and underneath you have a nylon spool with the cable the cord wrapped around it, and underneath the nylon spool is a clock spring, which as you pull the cord out it winds the spring up, and then when you let it go the tension comes off. Now if you leave the cord hanging out like that it makes the saw much more difficult to start also it will get caught on things when you're using the saw and makes it dangerous in the woodland. So we just need to put a little bit more tension back on that spring and effectively all we're going to do is wind it up. If you use a, a small screwdriver something like that just to hook out a length of the cord I hold this spool here with my thumb and with the other hand I hold the cord and then let go with my thumb and I actually wind that spool up a couple of times, hold that back with my thumb, and just take the cord out through the middle and allow that to go back in, and there's the spring retention. The correct tension for this should let you hold the, the starter handle down like that, and if you let go, it should crisply pop back into position like that. And we also need to check that we haven't over tensioned the spring. Because if we do and you try to start it the spring will break you actually have to take all the cord off so we pull the cord off like that hold it with my thumb pull a bit more off that's it that's the lot holding it with my thumb and you need a fair bit of pressure because the spring is quite strong you then grab hold of the spool and see if you can turn it against the, the pressure of the spring and you need to be able to turn that at least a quarter turn if you can't if it's solid then it means the spring is bound up and it will break when you try and start the saw so we've got that little bit of extra there, we know that's going to work okay. Hold the cord and then allow it to run back in slowly. You've still got that nice crisp finish. We pop it back onto the saw with a still. It goes on very simply. And because these little locating tongue in here or pull is on the spool, it just drops straight into the flywheel. On Husqvarna and some of the older Husqvarnas, you have two little metal pulls spring loaded and when you put the starter mechanism back onto the saw you just have to slide down with pressure pull the starter cord a bit and it clicks into place otherwise it doesn't locate properly we pop the retaining nuts back on Two more. The useful tip when you're putting these screws back on is to just go backwards with them counterclockwise until you feel a little click then wind them up and that ensures that they don't get cross threaded. So again with this one it's all on counterclockwise there it goes, little click and then start to wind it and it goes in nice and easily without getting crossed up. And there's your saw ready to go.